Let's talk about our favorite software for bill pay in real estate investing. What's up, y'all? I'm Ben Day with Lineshare Bookkeeping, Landlord CFO, and we like to help real estate investors with their accounting and finance systems and this part of their business. And today, I want to talk about technology. I want to talk about apps that we use. I'm a young dude. I love a good app. I know how to use a good app. And I want to refer one to you today uh, because we think it is fantastic. Uh, and the app that we're using is called Melio Payments. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them or anything like that. Uh, I just think they're the bee's knees and I, I, I really genuinely love uh, how their process works. And I'm here to explain how we use Melio to automate bill pay for some of our clients. So the first thing to know is that bill pay is kind of interesting to outsource. Um, fundamentally, like you are paying for somebody's time. You're paying for somebody to be very detail oriented. This is not typically a quick job um, because where in other industries, it might just be, Hey, we need to send AT&T a payment. Uh, we need to send the utility company a payment for this. It's, Hey, we need to send Jim Bob, my favorite contractor ever a payment. And it needs to get there with some quickness it needs to get there with some speed. Uh, and it needs to get to the right person, like, cause his address has changed. Cause he's, a, he's a, he's a subcontractor. He's a contractor. He keeps moving. Like there's a lot of more details to handle and it's very relational. And that's the part that sticks for us. And that's really where we think you cannot cheap out on this part of your process. If you're going to outsource it, um, which fundamentally is why we say when you're first getting started, don't outsource your bill pay, put it on automation, do something. We've got a whole other video about this. Um, do something to make sure that your people get paid. So you're preserving that relationship. And then when it makes sense to bring in somebody to help you with bill pay, we can help you put together the system through Melio payments. So, um, that's how you can begin. Like that's what bill pay really can be for your business. Um, let's talk about how we use this. So first, what we love about Melio payments is that it is totally free as of this recording right now in February, 2021, totally free. Uh, most other bill pay softwares are going to charge like a monthly fee, uh, like 25 bucks up to 75 bucks up to like 25 bucks a user, whatever it is, um, just to have the software turned on. And then some of these other softwares will charge a per transaction fee. So you need to send a $10,000 check to somebody that's going to be a buck 50 or 50 cents. If you need to send 10 separate payments of 50 bucks to somebody that is a dollar 50 or 50 cents or whatever for each one of those transactions. And this can stack up pretty quickly if you're paying bills the way they need to be paid. Uh, and so what we really like about Melia is that it is free, which makes it instantly accessible, which means really there's no reason you can't go check out Melio payments right now and make sure that they it, it just like make sure that they still do everything that I'm talking about and also put them to work. See what we can do in that software to help simplify a piece of your business so that you can run a better ship, run a tighter ship and have ultimately more time to go do the things that you really want to do. So go check them out. They're totally free. I love them. That's, that's the first and most important thing really about Melio payments, except for number two on our list. So in addition to being totally free, what you're able to do is make payments without giving away control of your cash. And here's what I mean by this. So you're able to connect inside of Melio. You can connect a debit card or a credit card or your wire information, your ACH information and pay people. However, makes best sense for you. If you pay through a card, there's a fee, um, but that's pretty standard in the business industries that you're usually going to pay about 3% whenever you're paying bills like this. Um, that's just something you get to look forward to as a business owner. Um, but that fee is also helping you stay compliant with the, uh, 1099 regulations and the federal government, stuff like that. We like not breaking the law. Generally speaking, we love not breaking the law. Uh, so that fee is going to be fine. But if it's an ACH, it's totally free. And now what we have with that ACH or with any of this is more detailed information. Instead of just sending somebody a whole bunch of cash, um, if, because we're paying them through Melio, we know who we're paying and when we're paying and how we're paying them. We've got an invoice image. We know what property it's for. We've got all this extra information and it just makes the bookkeeping easier at a later date, whether it's your bookkeeper that's doing all of your books tomorrow, or maybe you're catching up all of your bookkeeping at the end of the year. Having all this information on hand is incredibly convenient, um, which again is why we love this. However, more importantly, you're not giving away your checkbook. And what we mean by this is so many folks, when they think about bill pay, think I'm just going to hire somebody and give them my checkbook and they're going to make sure everything gets paid. 
that is a great way to have fraud in your business. I don't care if it's your cousin, your sister, your brother, uh, somebody with 30 years of professional accounting experience. What we like to tell folks is that, um, most people aren't evil. Like most people aren't crooks. However, fraud happens when people feel undervalued, um, or when something bad happens in their life, it doesn't have to happen to them. But if like, if their transmission goes out in their car and they need a car so they can make it to work, suddenly the fact that they have your checkbook would make it really easy for them to just pay to get their car fixed. And then they'll pay you back later. But maybe they don't ever actually pay you back because they're hard. It's hard for them to follow through on that. Or maybe somebody gets sick or whatever it is. So at the end of the day, we want to help take care of our people. We want to have good teams, but we don't want to tempt them with the ability to spend money. That's not actually there. So what we like about Melio is that it will fundamentally let you build out all these bill payments, have all these details, have all your cash and credit connected to it so that your people can get paid. And none of that can happen unless you have your approval process set up to where nothing gets paid until you go in and physically approve, click the button that says, I approve to make this payment. You can hire somebody, they can queue up hundreds of thousands of dollars of bills. You can go through and look at them and say, that looks right. That looks right. This one looks wrong. Get rid of this one, change this one. I don't know what this is. That looks right. And now you're having a more dynamic conversation and keeping your cash safe, keeping your business safe from fraud and other issues like that. Number three, then on our list, which is also just near and dear to my heart as to why we love bill pay software and we love Melio is that it will actually sync your transactions to accounting software. What we see a lot of banks doing right now is they'll allow you to set up vendors and you can set up vendor accounts and bill pay native inside of your bank. And you can go in and you can just say, Hey, I want to pay this guy this much money and wire them out straight from your bank login. And that's super cool. However, that level of integration, even if you're going in and saying it is, Hey, I'm paying this utility company for this house, this dollar amount. A lot of that information is stuck in your bank and only you can see it. And it's not going to connect to your QuickBooks or whatever accounting software you're using. Now you might see the line item like, Hey, we paid this utility company, this dollar amount, but you won't see the property. You won't see any additional notes about it or anything like that. All of that's stuck in the bill pay module, which is normally exclusively available to owners and admins on your account. You don't want to make a bookkeeper an owner or admin on your bank account for the fraud reasons we've already discussed, which means your bookkeeper is now in the dark and they're still asking you questions. And we're now duplicating that documentation somewhere. That is a bummer. If you're using a bill pay solution like Melio or whatever, where all of those details are right there, that can sync directly to QuickBooks so that not only does all of that information transfer, but you don't have to do it twice and there's no extra back and forth. It's just right there. We can deal with it and keep going. We like, I love technology that eliminates duplication of labor and a bill pay assistance software is going to get that done for you. So instead of opting for something like paying for something inside of a bank, if you can pay for pay for whatever you're trying to pay for through a bill pay assistance software, you're going to get more traction in that space and ultimately eliminate extra work. So what we do want to point out about bill pay assistance software is that it is not instant. Very few bill pay solutions are instant. If they are instant, it's probably because they're not actually bill pay solutions. They're cash transfer solutions. So uh, like uh, Venmo can work pretty quickly, um, uh, different, different things of that nature. Uh, but what we see most often, the biggest point of frustration is if you're sending somebody an ACH, it's going to take anywhere from three to five days and that's three to five business days and bank holidays aren't counted in those business days. So for instance, um, if we put like, uh, like a wire in late fr or like a, like a bill payment in ACH late on a Friday and that Monday's a bank holiday, it could be Thursday the next week before that payment gets there, or it could be the Monday after that next week, just depending on like how fast the banks are and how fast that bill pay service is running at the time. It will get there. It just might take potentially more than a week that frustrates some people. So what we like to do is if you can just make sure that like the bills that you're paying through the software, if you have the time in order to slow down and do that, that you're very proactive about it, you have a proactive system and that your vendors don't mind that it might take potentially more than a week for the payment to get there. And that's if it's an ACH, if you have to mail them a check, your, your timeline is going to be all over the place. In addition to the three to five days, just to process that check and the bank holidays. Now we're waiting on 
the United States Postal Service to get something somewhere. Um, and if they're like running slow, it could take weeks. We've had some bill pay uh, checks take over two weeks to get to their intended recipient. And then somebody has to actually open, like see the check, open the mail, deposit it, and it just causes some friction. So generally speaking, if you're going to go into the bill pay assistance route, we love doing it where it's fast. It's not going to be instant. It could be there in three to five days. If you get the wire information from your vendors, if you need to send a check, it could be weeks. So again, if you're going to use bill pay, manage that relationship, make sure that it's the right call. If it's not the right call, if your guys need to get paid on Friday for Thursday's work, it might be time to think through, okay, can we just put somebody not officially payroll because they're contractors, but could we have some sort of like Thursday true up like property manager or like, like property walk so that you can pay your contractors on Friday, what they deserve to be paid. Um, so the, you've got to really begin to manage that. And some of that you can't outsource. You got to have a property manager or whoever your construction manager, walk the property, make sure things are getting done so that you're paying for work that got done and not just for payroll. And everybody was sitting around all week. It, it happens. We want to make sure that you're diligent there outsourcing that piece. You don't want to give that to an accountant. You want to leave that in a construction management side, uh, just to make sure that that happens on time. You're preserving the relationship and not over or underpaying. Right. Uh, so listen, there's a lot to this payment process here. Melio payments does a lot, but it's not going to do everything. You need to use this tool appropriately in your business. Let us know in the comment section below what your questions are on this. How can we show and tell a little bit more in this space? Is there something you'd like to see something we can talk about a little bit more with you? We're happy to give away all of our information. Uh, listen guys, that's it. Be sure to like comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much.